Oh my gosh. Oh, KZE. Oh, KZE. Oh, damn it. Oh, KZE, can you review the drift trike? How durable is the drift trike? Ah, ah. You're so bad at raging. Oh, you should just go to Raging Waters instead. Sorry. Sorry. I'm raging. I wish I was a squirrel. <laughs> Take a seat. Sit. The rat. The rat has no idea what it is. Come on in. That's a teddy bear. Get it. That's the rat. Crypto. Crypto. This is all the mushing equipment I have experience with, and I'm confident in recommending any of these products to you guys. We're gonna be going over reasons I enjoy every single one of these, and hopefully encourage you guys to exercise your dog. Before we get started, every dog breed is not capable of mushing. Just because you guys see crypto pulling me at extreme speeds, that does not mean that every husky will enjoy mushing. Not every dog is meant to pull. One of the most asked questions you guys ask, what harness do I use? What's the harness Crypto uses? This here is the Explorer Harness by Front Pet. This is a $50 harness. The leash I'm using is a bungee leash by Lala Wow. By far my go-to harness. This is only one size. It is somewhat adjustable. This harness is perfect for medium-sized dogs. It's an over-the-head. Pretty easy for you to put this on your dog. A couple problems I have with this. Since it is padded all throughout, this isn't ideal for hot weather. This middle hook did break off. We had it clipped only to the middle one while YG was pulling and it actually broke off. These straps do seem to loosen up a bit. You could always just tighten it after every run. Since they don't really have a way of locking, all of these product links are going to be down in the description. I did purchase all of these three products off of Amazon. Down in the description if you would like to scope out these products. KZE, what the hell are you riding? Why are you so low to the ground? This bad boy right here, the Razor Drift Trike. I've done a couple things to this so it does not come like this. This is the original color, it's a highlighter yellow. First thing I did was I painted this thing gold. First thing out of the box, this thing is extremely easy to assemble. Four bolts here, one bolt here, the pegs have to be installed. Four bolts for the seat and you can actually move this either back or more forward if you're a taller person. The last bolt is right here. You can assemble this easily within five minutes. It's not only a trike but it's also a scooter. So if I wanted to scooter a kid away, I'm actually able to scooter kid away with this thing since this thing is meant for downhill usage the rear wheels are not rubber these are actually slicks made out of plastic that's the reason why this thing is pretty easy to drift everywhere if you're scared of falling off say your longboard or your skateboard while your dog's pulling you this is for sure is what you want to get that's the reason why you guys see Papa YG always using this because he's scared of falling down again I'm not really worried about falling down this is a really nice way to exercise a dog since you're sitting down what the hell wrong with you? Nothing. Since you're sitting down on this thing, it's pretty hard to fall down. The only instance I've had where I've almost fallen down, Crypto was pulling me and we were turning and I almost tipped over like this. That's probably the worst instance that could happen on this thing. Since it's a trike, this thing is stable. You can't really fall. This is how I break with Crypto. I use my feet. If you're going at higher speeds and say you step wrong, there is a chance of twisting an ankle. Since this is designed for downhill rompage, the pedaling on this is pretty light. If your dog's running at higher speeds, it's nearly impossible for you to pedal along with your dog and gain more momentum. Like I said, this thing originally did not come like this out the box. This here is a rechargeable LED that I purchased. It actually has three levels as well as a blinking level. It also came with the rear. This is the original color. The seat is by far my biggest complaint on this thing. I haven't used the seat once without the cushion. This seat is hard of plastic. This thing hurts like a mofo. Added this dog pillow from My Husky Couture. This is a must. You must add a pillow to this. That seat is unbearable. Unless you're a female and you have a huge juicy booty. If that's the case, you need to holla at me. More cushion for the pushing. 
Another thing that occurs over time with this thing, the steering turns a little bit loose. I'm not sure what it is. I've checked all the bolts and they're all nice and tight. Guessing it's this middle bolt. When I'm going at higher speeds and I let go of the steering, this thing just wobbles everywhere. It's not a problem if you're holding onto it. That fruit, are you kidding me? What the hell is that, the fruit? That fruit. This is my first longboard I've ever purchased and the only longboard that I have at the time. Palatian longboard. This was $50, this is $50, and this was $110, the drift trike. Perfect beginner longboard. I do have different bearings on it that did not come with it. Those are the reds. Just makes the ride a little bit smoother. Braking on the drift trike is pretty much dead. You can always tighten this if you want more brakes. You will most likely be stopping with your feet on this thing. Since this thing is so low to the ground, it can be extremely extremely hard for cars to see you, especially if it's a truck. This thing does originally come with a flag and a pole. It probably stands up to here. The pole got lost, so that flag is no longer. I should purchase a flag just for my safety. So to sum this up, if your dog isn't the most athletic dog, I would recommend using a longboard to exercise your dog. If you would like to be most comfortable and most safe, the drift trike is for sure the best option. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to hashtag them. Hashtag Q&A. We'll be making a Q&A video in the near future. Oh my. Ah! You GoPro. You. Sorry. Sorry. I'm raging. Let's get the fuck out of here. Fuck this. He opened it. The hell is that? Yeah. Inflatable? I got him that one too. Like, Inflatable bed? He does not fit in there. Huh? He fits in there. Why, G? Go to your bed. Down. 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 That's for the ride. An inflatable bed? Lifted bed? Wow. <laughs> like a maca? It's gonna look like that. What is that? Trampoline? A little trampoline. Wow. He has a huge boner. You think the Velcro will hold? That's the oh, question. Yeah. <laughs> Kakatai. Crypto, can you be in the background? Crypto with the cacti. <laughs> Are you hiding? Crypto, are you hiding? Come on! Get... <laughs> Stop it! Why did you... Tell him. Tell him I am the commander. So that's the longest... First step, spread it all open. It's a tight fit. Settle down, YG. <laughs> Boom, there it is. Let's see, will he lay on it? Don't even tell him what it is. Oh, oh now 
Now you want it, huh? Aww, what a bastard. Get up, Crypto, get up. Down. <laughs> he's, he's gonna stretch you. Down, Crypto. Down, Crypto. It's not built for both of you. <laughs> it's because he knows why G doesn't like it. Look at him. There you go. Down. There you go. One one of those good stretches he does, it's over. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat at KZE underscore production.